Oh my god, I can finally talk about what I experienced over the last week. It, it has been insane. This has probably been the most hectic, most insane week of my life. And I've been dying to tell you guys all about it. And now I finally get the chance to, um, you know, a lot of people often ask me what motivates me to keep making videos. And I often say that I like to treat my channel kind of like a diary to kind of get my thoughts about a certain subject on videos. So that way, way far in the future, Sorry, I could. Sorry, could you say that again? Hmm. I'm having trouble hearing you. I like to treat this channel kind of like a diary so that way way far in the future I could look back on videos like this to get my thoughts on something that released for example Sonic Movie 2 wanting to look back at this 20 years from now and seeing what was my thoughts when that movie released and being able to visually see and hear what I thought and that mentality is definitely relevant here because I just really really want to just get this on the record everything I experienced because it has just been a roller coaster ride. I will say starting out that this is obviously not my usual setup. I am at my girlfriend's place once again. Uh, we just got back from our trip to LA and Boston. So uh, uh, we're, we're taking it easy right now. Um, so I'm gonna be here in the meantime. So I apologize if the audio isn't what you guys are used to. Uh, there's probably gonna be a little bit of room reverb. I apologize for that, but we're gonna be doing what we can today. But all right, let's jump right into this. So the release of Sonic Movie 2. You guys know I've been anticipating this movie release, especially ever since the first one. Uh, and I will say, it, right out of the gate, if you guys haven't seen my review of Sonic Movie 2, go ahead and watch it. I did do a group one, kind of like we did last year with Sonic Movie 1. It is a big review. It's uh, an hour and 20 minutes long. So if you guys don't want to watch the whole thing, that's okay. I did just put timestamps. Uh, we go over every single scene in the movie. So you could skip to the part of the video that you want to hear us talk about the specific scene you want to hear us talk about so again if you if you can't watch the whole thing that's okay if you want to see what my thoughts are on a, on a specific scene my reaction to it you could watch it right there this video is going to be a little more concise than that one i'm going to just talk about my general thoughts on the whole thing and just talk about my experience as a whole so yeah the build-up to this movie has been insane ever since sonic movie one i've been anticipating it for sonic movie one if you guys remember me and my group of friends we had a meetup and you know we we really enjoyed our time there seeing each other in person for the first time and watching the film and you bet our asses that we wanted to do it again and we definitely wanted to we, we really wanted to uh and we did do it. It, it it's just been oh man all right so tldr me and my friends wanted to do another movie meetup we rented out an airbnb in boston it was going to be great uh you know we already uh bought our flights so that way we knew when we were going to land and we had the tickets ready and we were all ready to go and then me and kenny won the sweepstakes and that was something we didn't anticipate because <laughs> way before when we were planning the movie meetup, uh, me and Kenny did take part in the sweepstakes like everyone else did on Twitter. And we did not think we were going to win, but we won. And it wasn't just like me and my Kenny being my plus one. No, we both won the sweepstakes. It was really, really surprising. Seriously, what are the odds that two people that are a couple that when that's just wild to me. So we had to kind of plan around that, how to cancel a flight ticket, how to rebook a new one. So that way we had time to fly here. Uh, the the movie, the, the sweepstakes was gonna have us uh, watch it in New York, I believe. And then we would fly back to, or we would drive back to here and then we would fly out to Boston in time for our meetup. So with all that craziness out of the way, you know, I had everything ready. I packed all my stuff. I packed clothes, getting ready to go to New York uh, in late March, early April. So it's a little bit chilly. So I was bringing, you know, pants, sweaters, stuff like that, you know, cause it's gonna be a little chilly. And we're, then we're gonna go to Boston and it's, the weather's not that different there. And I'm not even joking, guys. I wish I was joking. This is literally straight out of a sitcom. I was in the plane. We were taxiing onto the runway. We were literally turning onto the runway. I was at Chicago O'Hare Airport. Um, I, that was where I had a layover there. We were, I was on my last flight. We're about to go on to the taxi to fly out to my girlfriend's place. And as I was on the tarmac, I get an email. What is in this email? It was an invitation to the Sonic Movie 2 blue carpet. What? So the second I got that email and I read the headline, I started freaking out. As soon as I was reading that, I had no time to really talk about it with anyone because the second I was reading it, the plane started to take off and I lost signal on my phone. So all I was left with was my phone in airplane mode, reading the last thing I got, which was that email. 
from Sega. And the reason why I was freaking out was because the blue carpet was on the 5th, April 5th. I got this email March 29th. Like the blue carpet was on the 5th. So I had to get to LA probably sometime before that. So on the 4th. So I had like three to four days to plan stuff. The second I land, I immediately call Kenny. And she, you know, she's uh, already, you know, freaking out about it. Like absolutely, like this is incredible. Uh, we had to figure some stuff out, like like just fix our schedules, uh, figure out what we could do if we can go. Sure enough, within a couple hours, we're like, this is realistic, we can go. And then that's when we realized it's not paid for. What? Paramount was a multi-billion dollar company and they were not gonna pay for the travel expenses or lodging. So, oh God, this this was this was a hard choice uh, because it, I'm sure, if, and, I mean, we're all Sonic fans here. If you got an invite to that, you know, you guys would probably drop everything you had to go to it. And we, we were like, you know, this is a once in a lifetime. We gotta do it. We have to do this. Because again, it's once in a lifetime. It's, it's, the red carpet. It's blue because it's Sonic, but it's the red carpet. So within a day, you know, we 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 try to book our flights, figure out hotels, figure out who else is going because, well, we're trying to save money and we got to save on Ubers and hotel rooms. And then it hit me. I need a suit. Where's your suit? Where's your suit? I didn't pack a suit. Uh, my suit and everything is at home. So while I was here with my girlfriend's place, I had to buy a whole new suit. I had to buy shoes. I had to buy, oh God, it was three days. I had three days. It was literally by a miracle that we were able to round up everything we needed to go to LA within three days, plan everything, book really expensive flight tickets. Cause you guys gotta understand when the gas prices goes up, so does plane tickets and Plane tickets right now are just, oh my God. And then you guys are probably wondering, wait a minute, Sam, what happened with the whole Boston movie meetup and your new sweepstakes winnings? Literally th the most ridiculous thing happened. So first off with the Boston meetup, what we had to do was I had to again, cancel more flight tickets and rebook new ones, um, which was again, another waste of money there. But again, we, we had to make this work. We had to, we had to go to this. And then the original sweepstakes that we won for New York, it ended up being nothing. So I was reading the TOS of the sweepstakes and they said that as long as you pretty much live in one of the 50 states in the United States of America you and you have a Twitter account and you did the post, you're eligible, you're good to go. And you have to be over 18 years old. But for some reason, they emailed us and said that unfortunately, there is no advanced screenings within 20 to 30 miles of our residency. So they're just gonna give us free Sonic Movie 2 tickets, two free Sonic Movie 2 tickets as you know, their sweepstakes gift. And it's like, that was not part of the deal. But of course we didn't care about the sweepstakes anymore because we're going to the blue carpet. But can you imagine if we didn't go to the blue carpet, I flew all the way here to go to New York and to see the movie early only for that to not happen. What? Anyways, outside of that, the sweepstakes was dead. The movie meetup was still gonna go on in Boston and we had to get on a plane ticket to LA. So that way we could do the blue carpet and then hurry and fly back over to Boston for the movie meetup. So we get on the plane, the six hour plane ride to LA. Once we land in the hot air, we meet up with Just Jess and Evan uh, from Tails Channel. Is that ridiculous? <laughs> and we were just all really hyper. We we're just really happy to finally see each other. And again, we were just having a great time and it was a new area to us, but all we knew is that we were definitely in uh, Los Angeles because we just saw the weirdest things on the way to our hotel. Yes. Uh, it was Woody. <laughs> I thought you said you were working at a vlog. <laughs> Seriously, only California would have a Popeyes right next to a huge cathedral. And this is my first time in Los Angeles. And I, for some reason, like I knew there was mountains. I didn't realize how big they were. Uh, I literally, I remember we were driving uh, down toward downtown. And I remember seeing this little line in the sky and I'm like, oh, like I, I didn't think anything of it. I thought it was just like a cloud formation, a really high cloud formation. We got closer, I realized that's not clouds. That's a mountain. It, it threw me off. It was cool though. 
So we get to the hotel, we meet up with Matt Manheimer, the former host of Tales Channel. We meet up with Cory Maru, Patrick. We meet up with just, oh, just a bunch of people, just a bunch of people. And from there, we were just walking around Burbank. We were just having a great time. And our friend Justin from uh, the Sonic Social Media team uh, met us up. Huge shout out to Katie and Justin. They were super, super nice to us there. They took us around Burbank. Uh, they, they kept paying for our meals and Thank you. Seriously, thank you. That was that was really nice of you guys. Justin hooked us up with a few uh, new t-shirts. I can actually show you guys a couple real quick. Actually, on second thought, I can't. My uh, The camera is actually on my suitcase. So, can't. I can't open it. But he did give us new shirts, which is really cool. And they, they were just super cool, just having us walk around Burbank, treating us, letting us, you know, see the area. Uh, we were all really excited for the premiere the next day. And they, they just did something really cool. So they, they brought us to the office and they gave us a little office tour. And I, wow, it was just fantastic. I'm sure you guys already seen the post on social media, but it was just really nice of them to do that. Yeah, that shadow picture is definitely iconic and it is something that I'm gonna cherish for the rest of my life. Jonathan Sega, he was there the whole time. He was part of the trip. I just want to say, you know, if we're gonna go to the place where Sega's at, you, better, you bet your bottom dollar, he's gonna be there. Always looking over our hotel room and everything. I'm not joking, we literally put him in the windowsill of our hotel room so we could always see him uh, in the window of the building. And from there, we're then walking distance, we walked to AMC 16, we took some great pictures outside that fully decked out AMC full of Sonic Movie 2 stuff, which was just fantastic. Even Chalmix took one of the most badass pictures I think I've ever seen uh, there, so that was fantastic. But yeah, that brings us to the day of the premiere. Uh, you know, we were, we were eagerly excited for this. This is something that we didn't know what's happening only up to a few days ago, and now we were going on our way to Westwood in Hollywood, and it was just like, oh god. And the second we pull up, being able to see all the faces of people I've seen on the TV screen this whole time now in person, it was such a weird feeling. <laughs> but we get our tickets, we go toward the theater, we take those really cool pictures while the, the security team was just constantly pushing us inside, like, gotta go, gotta go, it's like, no! We flew all this way, spent all this money, we're taking pictures! So we forcibly take our pictures, we get inside the theater, and uh, it was just bananas. It was just, it was insane. Just, it, it was like a huge, a huge amount of like energy in the room. It was just amazing. It was all worth it. That's where I did that one little live stream you guys saw. Again, I'm sorry it was two minutes, but again, they were like hushing us into the room. They were just kept on saying like, we gotta go inside, go inside, this, that. It's like, we, the movie doesn't start for another 30 minutes. We can't just talk with people and chill around for a bit. Dang. But it was so great and people didn't listen. We we did it anyways. Again, you guys didn't pay for lodging or, or plane tickets. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk. We, we wanna, we wanna chill and have a fun time. <laughs> and a fun time we had really. As much jokes as I'm making about the whole thing. It was, it was fantastic. And probably one of the biggest highlights of the whole trip for me is I got to meet uh, some call me Johnny. I know I've mentioned him a few times on the channel, but he is someone I've watched since like 2010, nine, when did he start? He started in 2008, but I probably watched him since 2009. So it was just great to really just see someone that I've watched really since I was a kid. He really is my main inspiration and just being able to meet him, shake his hand and, and, and have that picture was, it, it meant everything to me, it was great. And then David Dobrik walked in. I'm not even joking, right before that live stream, I, I remember I was, I think I was helping someone take a picture and right as I was doing that, David Dobrik just walked in and he was like right there. And I'm just like, okay. I, I'm not a fan of David Dobrik. I never really was. And I didn't really care. It was just so bizarre. He was there. Um, I got to meet even more people. We go into the theater where our, that, that's when we learned that our seats were scrambled. Uh, for some reason, even though Kenny was like my plus one, her seat was like shuffled and it's like, why would you do that? <laughs> Luckily when the movie started, all the seats weren't packed. So everyone kind of shuffled back around to sit next to their plus one by the end of it. So it was a bit chaotic, but it worked out. When the movie ended, I was finally able to take a picture with, you know, Izuka-san. I know, uh, I know Jonathan Sega and all of them got to take pictures with like, the CEO of Sega Sammy and his son, which is just fantastic. Got to take a picture with Patrick Casey, got to take a picture with Lee Majdub, which was also really great to see. So one of the biggest highlights of the trip, uh, it was after the movie and me and Kenny were, were walking, you know, we were walking in the theater, taking as many pictures with people as we could. And then I feel a hand on my shoulder just kind of spin me around and person I see is uh, Sammy Warshaw. He is the co-producer of Sonic Movie 2. 
And this part just made, it just made everything so worth it. He, he shook my hand. He was just thanking me for my videos. He, he knew who I was. He thanked me for just, for everything. Uh, the feedback from the community, I believe. And, uh, it, it, you know, it's hard for me to remember because my, my mind was racing at that moment because I, I couldn't believe any of this was happening. But hearing the stuff he said to me was just, it was really nice. And it really showed me right then at that moment that, this stuff is important. Making these videos is important. You know, talking about as a fan base what we're feeling, uh, what we like, what we don't like, and getting our reactions out there and talking about it is important. And at that moment, I was I, I really realized the scope of, of what I had there, and I just felt really blessed again to be in that position. And again, thank you to Sammy. That, those are some nice words. And it's not stuff I'm used to hearing, so it was it was really great to hear, and, and it, it was just uh, it was it was fantastic. After that point, we walk outside. Security still wouldn't let anyone talk for a second. They were still pushing us out of the building at that point. Like, okay, start the movie, get out. And at that point, all of us friends went and walked down to a burger shop uh, nearby, and that's where we chilled. We ate some amazing food. Uh, I didn't have In and Out. It was right next door, but I decided to pass on it. I don't know. I, I probably should have. I just I've always heard that it was overrated. Maybe next time. But you know, after that. We got back in our Uber, we went back to the hotel room, but there was no time to sleep. We had to pack and get on a plane to Boston. I had to be in Boston by the next morning. So there we were uh, back in the hotel room. We were, we immediately left, went straight back to LAX airport, got on a six hour flight, me, Kenny and Evan, and we passed out <laughs> the whole time. And from there, uh, we've landed in Boston and commenced part two of the whole trip, being able to have my Sonic movie meet up too with my friends as was originally planned, yet somehow it was the last thing I was doing. And that was also a great time, just being able to see everyone, hanging out with everyone, doing a pasta cook-off, which I did record it, uh, so I might be uploading that later. Uh, to put your bets on who you think won. It was uh, Prego versus Rayo's pasta sauce, so. I was the underdog, but w maybe the one will surprise you guys. I don't know, I don't know who won. I do. You're gonna have to watch the video when it comes out. And yeah, uh, after another flight uh, delay of a whole day, we had to stay in Boston an extra night. Uh, we finally got back to uh, Ken's place and now I'm just taking it easy and I'm finally able to tell you guys all about that trip. God, it was, it was the most amazing trip of my life. It was chaotic, it cost a lot. <laughs> But again, I am incredibly honored uh, to be able to even be invited to something like that. And that's the whole reason why I, I did everything I could to make sure I was there. We wanted to soak up every moment of it and we did. But definitely if we do it again, please give us a little bit more of a heads up. Just at least a, a week, please. It was, it, was, it was so chaotic. And again, if you've seen any other content creators that were in this video that had to fly out there, Please support them. Uh, they really need it. We all really need it right now. Uh, like the video, maybe share it. Maybe on a live stream, if you could donate. I, I hate asking for this, but like this really was a lot of money and everyone was talking about how expensive it was and how last minute it was. Plane tickets right now are not cheap. Neither are hotels and neither are Ubers. So please support when you can, when possible. Oh my God. <laughs> but yeah, all jokes aside, it was a great time. And it was a moment I am never going to forget. It, it was something I am going to cherish and it was definitely worth every penny. I, I loved it and I cannot wait. And I hope I get experience something like this again in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, I know it's a bit different from what you guys are probably used to, but I really just wanted to talk about it. Uh, if you haven't watched Sonic Movie 2 yet, go watch it. I'll give you guys a tilde right now movie is fantastic uh it, like it is great it's not perfect by any means if you guys saw my a review already with the tail channel people they did do a non-spoiler discussion uh, on their channel if you guys don't want to be spoiled if you guys did watch the movie already you got to know my thoughts on it we did do an hour and 20 minute video it has time since you don't have to watch the whole thing but uh tldr the movie was great i loved it the action was amazing tgi was amazing it was a lot longer than i expected uh there was a few scenes here and there like for example the wedding I didn't hate that the wedding was in the movie, I just think it could have been cut down a bit, cut down the fat, 
And, uh, you know, uh, I think it could have been a little bit better paced, but it didn't take away my excitement from the movie. I think it was a gr it was fantastic. It was fantastic. I loved it. The atmosphere in the theater was electric. Watching it with Sonic fans was the best thing. It was the best thing, both in the premiere and in Boston. Seeing it with Sonic fans, we had a whole row to ourselves in Boston, and it was great. It was just fantastic. I loved it. I loved it, and I can't wait to see it. We are, I'm actually going to go see it again tomorrow for a third time, and then when I fly home eventually soon, I'm going to go see it again with my family for a fourth time. I, I have no problem doing that. With the first movie, I probably would have felt fatigued, but not with this one. This one is a lot better, in my opinion. I don't really do ratings on this channel. You guys know that, but if I had to give this movie a rating, it's probably like a... Mm, it, it's hard to say. Uh, I, I would probably give it like a solid... 8.5 out of 10. It's it's really good. It's really good. It's a really good movie. And it's definitely one of my top three favorite movies of all time just because of everything surrounding it, the trip, and the memories I have with it. And again, the movie itself is just really, it, it's fantastic. It was fantastic. It was really everything I wanted. It just had a little bit of that extra stuff that was probably unneeded. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. And again, I do want to thank you guys like I did on that live stream I did uh, at the premiere. Thank you guys so much for everything. It is thanks to you guys I get to do stuff like that. And none of this, I'm not, I'm not like, none of this still feels normal to me. I still, I'm still very numb to this whole thing. Uh, even being invited to that event with other major people. Like, I never thought that, like, I would even be in the same room as some of those people, but it happened. And at that moment, when I saw it all happen, and now when I was in the moment, I, I really felt incredibly blessed to have the, the best community ever. You guys are great. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to cut off the camera now before I start crying. I'll talk to you guys very soon. This is Sam signing out. See you later, procrastinators.